Hello, welcome to Living a Simple Life. Today, I wanted to talk about some words that had to do with minimalism and simplifying life and decluttering and organizing. So I'll start off with talking about the word minimalism. It has become a very popular term and a lot of people use it. A lot of people have written books on it. And in fact, I wrote a book on it in 2021. I wrote my book on minimalism. Minimal, minimalism for Well-Being, A Guide to Simplifying All Facets of Your Life. I wrote this book in 2021 during COVID. And I wrote it based on my experience of moving into this tiny cottage from a regular size apartment. I got rid of 95% of my possessions and the process was, it was a little challenging. So I wanted to write a book on it just to reflect on how, what I went through and how I did it. And I'm a teacher at heart. So a lot of the chapters have worksheets so people can use that to help themselves if they want to go through such a process at their own, you know, whatever time, whatever kind of process you want to go through. I went through this kind of process, but everybody does it differently so the worksheets are there to help you to ponder if you want to simplify your life so i just wanted to say this book is available on amazon.com and um, i enjoyed writing it and minimalism is very popular still this you know it's been for two years now and um and i define minimalism as living with just what you need with just what you need and use some people add on that, you know, and what you love and what you want to keep, you know, out of your possessions. If there's anything you really love, you want to keep it with you. You don't want to get rid of that. An example for me was I love pieces of crystals. I have gone to um, Sedona a couple of times, Arizona, and I bought all kinds of pieces of crystals and I love them. So I, I kept them. I kept most of them and I love looking at them. They're not practical, but they're, they just cheer me up when I look at them and make me make, they make me feel happy. So the next word I wanted to talk about, the next term is simplifying life. So simplifying life, I define as making our lives as simple as possible so we can be free to live the way we want to. I, I like that, that definition and, um, I'll tell you how I moved from minimalism to living a simple life in a few minutes, but that kind of falls under that. The other word that I want to talk about is decluttering. Decluttering can be defined as sorting through and getting rid of things, thoughts, and or scheduled events that we do not need in our life anymore. So decluttering is kind of like what I did when I got rid of 95% of my, of my possessions. I, I, I had to get rid of things that I no longer needed and used. And then the other term is organizing. And a lot of people mistake organizing for decluttering, and it's not the same at all. Organizing is actually rearranging, keeping everything and just making it look different by moving it around and maybe putting it in boxes. And a lot of people store things, they organize that way. A lot of people that I've heard of, you know, there's a lot of people that keep a lot of their belongings in storage units and they pay hundreds of dollars. They have a big house, they have a garage, they have a basement, but they also have storage units. And um, I think that's a lot of organizing, a lot of storage. But organizing is not the same as decluttering. And so that's an important, uh, you know, definition and important difference there. So after I, I moved into my cottage and I, I kind of, I had what I needed and a few things that I love, I started thinking more, reflecting upon my life in a different way. And um, I decided to write another book. And this book is, it's called A Journey to Authenticity, um, Finding Freedom, Peace and Joy. This was kind of like the reflective part for me of minimalism. And that's when the term simplifying my life or simplifying life or living a simple life came up. 
it it just kind of evolved for that to that for me and this book is also available on amazon.com um so living a simple life for me the term and the practice evolved from that particular way from being uh from minimalism to to um to sort of reflecting on my authenticity and so that's what that was my journey um again we all have different ways of approach and we all have different uh, the definitions so this is just my perspective and um i hope it was helpful and uh i'll see you next time <laughs>